Hello. In this video, I'm going to mostly talk about the ideas and inner workings of what went behind each picture. So you'll be hearing from me instead of the music for the most part. But uh, it'll still be there for anyone who wants to go look for it. Linktober is a spin on Inktober, which is a yearly drawing challenge that lasts for the month of October. Uh, Linktober is just a Zelda themed twist on all the prompts you have to draw daily. Uh, the first day's prompt was Merchant, which immediately made my mind jump to a few things. First of all, uh, was Beetle from Wind Waker and Tingle from Majora's Mask. But I remember the bomb shoe lady and thought she was cute, uh, so she was what I ultimately decided to go with. I like the design of Young Link a ton. He's probably up there with my uh, favorite Link designs next to Wind Waker's Toon Link, uh, Ocarina of Time's Adult Link, Zelda 1, and Link to the Past's Link. So I spent a fair bit of time getting him to look exactly like I wanted him to look, so you might see that uh, his hair be tweaked a lot more than uh, me paying attention to the other parts of the drawing. Uh, day two was Temple, and a couple of things went through my head. Mostly, I wanted to do Minish Cap stuff, but I don't think I actually got around to doing any of it. Uh, but I wanted to do my favorite temple from Ocarina of Time, which is the Forest Temple. Uh, the outside always struck me as super calm and pretty, and somewhere where I would sleep, and I loved all the, the wolf creatures and the vines that would sprawl across the, uh, the trees. Day 3's prompt was Helper, which immediately made me think of Ezlo, but I had a friend who uh, was really into Medley at the time, so I believe that I drew Medley for her instead, which I thought is a better choice, because I got to do a cool looking Wind Waker background to accompany Medley. Day 4 was Sage, and I always liked Raru and his design from Ocarina of Time. Uh, I thought he was kind of underplayed and deserved a bit more spotlight, so that's why he was chosen as the Sage of Choice. Otherwise, I would have done Saria, but um, I figured I could have done her later. Day 5, the prompt was Species. I love the Deku tribe and how cute they all are, as uh, well as how outlandish the different versions of them are. Uh, long, tall, or short. So I wanted to do a large portion of some of the most unique Dekus, which would be from Majora's Mask. Um, and I also wanted to incorporate them taking like a family photo. So um, I put the camera lens from the, the item you got from the, I believe the, the Swamp Sisters? I don't remember what they're called. Um, and uh, I made it so it looked like they were taking a family group photo together, which I thought was nice. A lot of the decisions that went behind what game would be represented was initially decided by what I thought my friend would have liked to see at the time. And what she would have liked to see was predominantly Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and Wind Waker. Um, I do love Majora's Mask though, and I love how it feels, but I've never actually completed the game, as embarrassing as it is to say. The mask transformations did traumatize me as a kid though, so I wanted to draw that for Day 6's mask. Uh, day 7 was Sky Island. And my mind defaulted immediately to Skyward Sword and the pumpkin carrying minigame, as I think the pu big pumpkin island is the most unique island to me in the entire game. Mostly just because of the theming, and I think pumpkins are an interesting vegetable. Well, not interesting, but cute. I think pumpkins are very cute, like jack o' lanterns and, and the like. And the pumpkin soup in the game really felt like home, I guess, in a way. Uh, and I like that. So, um. 
I haven't played as much Skyward Sword as I would have liked, but I always appreciate the game for all of its uniqueness, like the, the Sky Pumpkin Island and the, uh, the Skyloft Birds and everything that uh, had to do with its entire uh, theme, world, and story. Uh, day 8 was Constructs, and I really didn't want to draw anything from Tears of the Kingdom of Breath of the Wild. So I tried twisting it into like construction or the idea of a construct, which to me is the fat bean guy from Ocarina of Time and the beans he gives you. Uh, day 9's prompt was Fierce, or not Fierce, it was Deity. Um, and I think if you can interpolate or guess from the previous couple of drawings that were Joris Mass themed, uh, this focus would be on Fierce Deity Link. As the prompt was deity. Um, this one was much more for me than for my friend, just because I think Fierce Deity is a extremely cool transformation, and um, I'd always uh, watch my cousin play Majora's Mask when I was younger, and I'd um, I'd always want him to put on the the Fierce Deity Link uh, mask. Cause I always thought the transformation and the the large double helix, I think that's what's called sword, looked really cool. Um, so I wanted to draw him battling. Majora in his true form. Uh, I would have liked to render it more, but at the time I was running out of time. It was like beginning to become the next day, so I really couldn't waste any more um, time besides giving it a flash shade of color and maybe uh, some rendering on the blood, the green blood, the iconic green <laughs> in 64 Zelda blood. The prompt for Day 10 was an easy one, it was just Zelda, and while I don't particularly care either way for Twilight Princess, uh, the decision to paste the Zelda I drew off of Twilight Princesses was just for my friend and what she wanted to see. Um, Twilight Princess Zelda though, I always recognize her as like Smash Zelda, um, mostly because she was in the most Smash games I've played with her as the one representing Zelda, so I guess that is the, the most defining characteristic of this. Zelda for me. Uh, day 11 was Monsters and Beasts, and originally I was only going to do the, the Wind Waker to choose, but uh, it's such a simple choice to just draw all of them, um, and I, I like all of them. I, I particularly like Wind Waker's and Majora's though, for the, the shape design. Day 12 was Princess, and not wanting to go with Zelda, or an easier pick, I decided on Princess Stylin from Tri Triforce Heroes. Um, I feel Triforce Heroes has a lot of great characters in it, like King Tuft or Sir Comsley, and is extremely underappreciated uh, in that aspect alone. So I wanted to uh, give some love to the world of Triforce Heroes by drawing uh, the three of them for uh, Princess Stylus inclusion. Uh, day 13 
And this was the final one I could even attempt to get to. It was the, the Prompto's Phantom. Uh, and while it isn't finished, this was going to be Phantom Zelda protecting a conductor link, which I would have liked to finish, but, um... Uh, throughout the entirety of this whole challenge of drawing a picture every day that's like Link themed or Linktober, um, it was very challenging as I had school and uh, other responsibilities I had to do, as well as wanting to talk to my friend who most of these drawings were based around or for, um, until eventually it just got to the point where I couldn't do anything anymore, and I had to, not had to, but I was going to a convention in Minnesota where I'd sell my prints and stickers and uh, stuff like that. But um, I would like to participate in another Inktober, maybe one coming up uh, in 2024. Uh, wink wink, nudge nudge. Uh, anywho, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for bearing with my narration. Uh, I hope you have a nice rest of your day.